Hi, this is Steve at stevepuffphoto.com, and I'm here today with the Canon S90 Compact. It's a little tiny guy, kind of a, along the same shape as the camera I am using to videotape this with, or I guess just take video of, I don't want to say tape, but it's kind of, to me, a challenger to the Leica Deluxe 4 and Panasonic LX3 with its shape. It's a little square, slim type body. And when you turn it on, the lens protrudes, comes out, and on the back you have the LCD, which is telling me to set the time. Um, but the camera itself is just very small and very light. It's got a pop-up flash, but that doesn't come out until you, say I put it on auto mode, I go to take a picture. Well, I guess there's too much light in here. There we go, and the flash pops up, and I don't have a memory card in there right now, but uh, normally it would record the image. Um, one cool thing about this camera is it has a dial on the front. Normally, where you would say manually focus a lens, it has a twist dial that you twist, and this can control many things. The way I have it set up now, it controls the aperture of the lens. So as you change it, it changes the aperture. So if I want to go to f5.6, you just turn the dial in the front and you change it. So I'm just turning this dial. You can also, by pressing the ring function button on the top, set this to, you can set the ring to what you want it to control. Standard is changes the aperture. You can also set it to change the ISO speed, but with a camera like this I would suggest leaving the ISO speed to auto. Um, you can also have it control the exposure compensation. Focus, if you set the camera to manual focus, you can set the ring to be your focus. White balance and zoom, you can even use that as a zoom. So it's almost like a fake zoom lens where you would turn. Um, but I like to keep it to aperture since I'm so used to using my Leica lenses and that's how I change the aperture on the lens. So I just leave that set at the standard setting. Um, let's go to the menu now. By pressing the menu button you get all of the controls that you would expect to get. AF frame, face recognition, center, um, frame size, you can change that. Digital zoom, you can turn it off and then you can set how much magnification you want. It's always best to leave that digital zoom off, honestly. Um, some AF options, manual focus options. Eye contrast to fill out the shadows, usually on auto, I would leave that. Blink detection, this camera actually can, can tell if someone is blinking in a picture. So it's got blink, so if, it, if you blink, I, it displays a warning, I guess is what it's saying. It detects closed eyes and displays a warning. Something new that I have not seen yet. Image stabilization mode, continuous, and how you want it to record. Do you want it to record RAW and JPEG? That's always a good idea. Um, so there's your menu. Actually, you've got some more settings here. All the basic settings. But what I want to show you is the function button. Here's where you can easily change everything. Auto ISO is what I have it set to now, but you can turn this dial here and set it to any ISO you want. Auto white balance works the same way. Bracketing, the flash exposure, metering, spot metering, center weighted, evaluative, single shot, multi shot continuous, Okay, so it has all these options here, and then how big you want your file sizes. Um, large JPEG, uh, I believe that's just different JPEG sizes. They get smaller until they get really small. And if you want to shoot in 16 by 9 the Canon S90 does not shoot natively in that mode. So it will crop the top and bottom portion of your image, actually making it, giving you less resolution. And then finally your RAW settings. Um, so basically, that's your settings, your display menu, when you press it, it changes from your live histogram 
to no life histogram. But the camera on the top you have your dials, auto mode, low light mode, scene modes where you can choose between uh, different scenes. There's a, there's a cool vintage black and white mode that looks really cool. Movie mode. Here's one, one thing I don't like about the camera. It does not have high definition video. Um, it just has standard def video and it records just kind of plain Jane movies. So if, if movies are not a big deal to you then this is not a deal breaker but for those who, who want high definition movies um, I would say this is not the camera for you. For example, the Leica Deluxe 4 shoots in high def even though it does not autofocus while you're shooting, which can be a pain. The newer cameras coming out today, they do autofocus during video. So this camera, I leave it in A mode, aperture priority. I usually have the aperture at its minimum. Um, somehow that got set back to the wrong thing. Here we go. So yeah, I like to shoot at f2 because this lens does have an f2 lens even though I am finding the quality of the files is not up to the Leica Deluxe 4 but it is a little cheaper of a cam camera that can easily slip into your pocket and I have carried it in my front pocket many a times. So be sure to go over to stevehuffphoto.com to read the full written review with tons of samples on the Canon S90. Thanks for watching and see you over at the site.